Ichiro Suzuki, and I'm going to talk about volume flow rate. Got a busy schedule, but this is important. So let's talk about volume flow rate. Volume flow rate is the rate at which volume moves through time. There are two different ways of calculating it. One is just measuring a volume and seeing how long it takes to move. So let's go do that. Come on. Just uh, stop by my laboratory for a moment. Anybody in? Yeah. Oh, I like it. There we go. Behold, the CERN, oh. the CERN Aqua Flush, 1.6 gallons per flush. We know the volume, now we just have to figure out how long it takes. Well, here we go. First, volume flow rate is given by Q sub V. That's the rate at which volume moves. Volume flow rate. And the formula for volume flow rate, the first one I'm going to show you, is just volume over time. And this can be gallons per minute, gallons per second, liters per hour, cubic feet per second, any kind of unit that uses volume over time. All right? Now, we know that we know that this is 1.6 gallons per flush. So for each flush, we've got a volume of 1.6 gallons. So we know the volume, we just don't know the time. So let's measure that. That's a four second flush. All right. It's four seconds. And uh, let's see, we've got the toilet flushing. There we go. The water flowing through. I'm kind of a little patient. I, I look at that and I see a toilet. So I want to know what the volume flow rate is. Volume flow rate is the volume over time, which is 1.6 gallons. Well, actually, let's call this A. Do a couple of calculations. Divided by the time, which is four seconds, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.4 gallons per second. Now, if we wanted, we could do a conversion. Maybe we should just do a conversion. Let's do it in gallons per minute. So let's see. If I want to take this 0.4 gallons per second and convert it to gallons per minute, I need seconds on top to cancel those seconds down below. And minutes on the bottom, so I want gallons per minute. There are 60 seconds in a minute. Every conversion is just multiplying by one, because 60 seconds is the same as one minute. Seconds cancel, and I get uh, 24, excuse me, six times four, yeah, 24 gallons per minute. Now, what else can we do with this? Well, let's say, nice. Let's say we've got a time B, a time of, uh, I don't know, three minutes. You know, the flapper doesn't come down, so the thing just keeps running. And we want to know how much volume is going to flow in three minutes if this thing breaks. So, how much volume would that be? Well, we know the volume flow rate is, uh, let's see, I'm going to use 0 0.4 gallons per second. I could use 24 gallons per minute. Either way is fine. Oh, I've got minutes. Never mind. I'll use 24 gallons per minute. Sorry. So I've got 24 gallons per minute. 
Now volume flow rate is volume over time. I want the volume though. So what I need to do is get it by itself. It's already on top. So I'll multiply the top on both sides by time. As long as we do the same thing to both sides, they'll still be equal. And I wind up with volume. It's volume flow rate times time. And this is going to be 24 gallons per minute times 3 minutes the time. The minutes cancel, I get a volume. So I know I did it right. If you use the units just like numbers, it'll tell you if you got the right answer. I've got to have a unit of volume. This gives me 72 gallons. It only uses 1.6 gallons in a flush, but if this thing gets stuck on, it's going to go through a lot of water. Now, hmm. did you see any urinals in this room? Um, the other uh, calculation is with velocity times area. Maybe we'll do that somewhere else.